And welcome everyone to a Pac-12 chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Grant Antisevich from Cal and the Bears, fresh off a of victory over Stanford. Uh, they're up next playing the Oregon school, so it doesn't get any easier in the Pac-12. Uh, Grant, biggest difference though in these two Stanford games, what was it? Um, I think I think one thing, you know, we haven't been playing on the road as well as uh, we have at home. Um, and that's something we need to try and fix up. I think just we were more mentally attached to our game plan. Um, we came out, we feel like we were well prepared. Um, you know, the first game I thought we did a good job in the first half, but then like I kind of fell apart from our game plan, didn't play the full 40 minutes, let them get a run. And then the game got away from us. But I feel like uh, this, this last game uh, on Sunday, we really did a good job of sticking to our plan, doing what we planned to do. Played the full 40 minutes, played hard, um, and played the game at our tempo. So. so if you do that in the Oregon schools at your tempo, what will that look like this weekend? Hopefully, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, similar, honestly, similar game to uh, to the game we played against Stanford. We want to try and keep it low scoring. We know that they're a team, that, you know, the high scoring team likes to get out and run. So, you know, we want to control the tempo, play good defense, um, and take good shots. So, Grant, biggest difference? What is it from last year to this year? For me personally, for you, and then if you could for the team. Yeah, I think. Um, I think, you know, definitely everyone's, we got, last year we a bit of a young team, we got guys who've, you know, got an extra year under their belt now, so the experience helps everyone a lot, you know, myself included. Um, we have a lot of good freshmen, um, you know, uh, and I think everyone's kind of really taken this new season as an opportunity to grow and get better, and we've all kind of, you know, put a lot of work in uh, throughout the process, off season, now going into season, um, and everyone's just got a really good mindset, you know, we're playing together. Um, and, you know, we, we keep working every day, getting better and better, and I think, you know, the results, we're playing better each game we play. So for you, you know, it's interesting. You, you, you can be sort of a glue guy. There's been games where you've been able to score, and in this last game where you guys won, you know, you, you fouled out, but you had eight boards, and you weren't as offensively, uh, you know, someone that they could count on as a producer, but you helped in other ways. In what way has Mark Fox said to you, you know what, here's how I need you to contribute to help us win? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, coach. Coach gives me a lot, of, a lot of confidence in my game. He wants to shoot the ball, be aggressive on offense, and um, you know, communicate and be a leader on defense, and obviously rebound the ball. So he just, you know, gives me confidence and the freedom to just go out and just play my game, and you know, uh, offensively be free and aggressive, and you know, play without any, you know, inhibition or anything like that. And defensively the same thing. So just to be able to go out there and have the confidence, knowing that you know your coach believes in you, makes a big difference. And your teammate, Grant, Matt Bradley, he's been a late-game player. What's it been like mm. to see him bury those uh, key shots in the last possession? Yeah, yeah, it's been big time. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's pulled through for us. You know, he's used some big-time shots to seal the dumps for us. So, you know, it's great. Matt puts a lot of work in. He's a hard worker, you know, so he deserves it. Uh, great to see him hit those shots. Grant, I appreciate it. Uh, best of luck this weekend in Oregon. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having me.